How you doing? Welcome back to my grill room. Hey, behind me right here is what they call a Socrates cucumber. And it's a parthenocopic variety that doesn't require pollination. And in my first two videos, I discussed how easy it was to grow and the importance of light. And I'm going to show you why the importance of light is so important when it comes to flowering vegetables. Um, you need good, intense light. I've got two HIDs running in this room. And um, let's take a look at it. Uh, from top to bottom, it's getting ready to produce. So actually, it is ready. To, it, it's ready for picking. So um, we'll look at one plant that's doing pretty well, and we'll look at another one that is not doing well. And the one that's not doing well has to do with the light. Take a look. Okay, the Socrates pickle. This is growing in a deep water culture. Okay. Now, this is sitting underneath uh, sodium lights right now, which give off a red hue, okay? So it, in, uh, it mimics the end of summer. It mimics a nice bloom cycle. Um, so it's supposed to tell the plant it's time to bloom, it's time to start producing, and so that's what this light does. Now, um, this thing is just loaded down with uh, cucumbers right now. And so as you can see, man, there's a... There's a real nice one that's ready. It's the first one off the plant. Um, the greenhouse growers typically will um, prune all of those off all the way up till the fifth leaf. So, and, and what it's supposed to do is encourage the vine to grow upward, um, and it's supposed to encourage leaf production. So, um, typically, uh, you wouldn't see a cucumber this low on the plant. Okay, and so as we work our way up. You'll start to see some really nice cucumbers in here. Check this out. I mean, that's, oh gosh, 9, 10 inches. Um, here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one that's kind of growing a little funny. It's <laughs> it's uh, a little thin in the middle for some reason. But anyway, um, this thing is loaded down with, with, with new ones that are going to start to produce. Uh, what I need to do is I need to start picking these things so that it sends the energy upward um, into the, to the new ones that are about to take off. Now, not every one will produce a cucumber, okay? So if you take a peek here, this one's likely to produce a cucumber. Um, this one you can see is starting to shrivel up a little bit. And that's because uh, the energy um, of the plant really is being diverted down to the ones that are producing. So once I start picking these things, uh, the energy is going to go to these guys here and they're going to start to grow. But um, really right now it can't handle all of the growth. Um, so you will lose a few. Um, but I mean, look at this thing. This thing's just loaded down here. Um, and I got it going all the way up till just below the ceiling. And then I topped it off up here, okay? And what that does is it stops it from growing vertical. I mean, I only got eight foot ceilings down here, okay? And what you'll notice is the side shoots will start to come out, like right here, and these will start to produce. So you want a side shoot. At each leaf node, a uh, side shoot should come out, and it'll start to cascade its way down. So this is a really cool plant. I'm really digging it. This is my healthy one. There is some a little bit of leaf curl here, but I mean, these leaves are just huge. They're, they're bigger than the size of my hand. Uh, the leaf curl, in my opinion, uh, I've heard rumors or I've read stuff online that says, you know, it's too much nitrogen and it can cause leaf curl or it's a nutrient deficiency. But this is my third run growing cucumbers. And no matter what I do with the nutrient um, uh, or the lighting, uh, as soon as the leaves reach maturity, they start to curl up. They get a little bit papery. Uh, they start to lose a little bit of their color. And I think that's normal because if I grow cucumbers outside, when those leaves reach maturity and the fruit is done, I tell you what, those leaves start to get papery, they start to get nasty looking, and then I, I eventually have to prune them off. So this is about what they look like outside when I grow them too. So um, 
there is one little spot here and this thing grew so fast uh, that it started to hit the light and you can see it scorched this leaf right here so uh, these things are fast fast growing from seed this is about 60 days right here well actually a little less than 60 days so I've got cucumbers uh, one two three four five five ready uh, for picking in less than 60 days and that's that's a lot of cucumbers um, everyone that grows hydroponically they, they always say hey let me see your roots let me see your roots so okay let's take a look at the roots and so these are now because of the sodium ball that gives off this red hue I'm telling you these things are pristine white I mean they are as white as white can be so if it doesn't come across that way in the camera then my apologies but this is a really healthy root system really healthy goes all the way down to the five gallon bucket and all this is growing in is uh, Dynagro Bloom nutrient solution I keep it at about a thousand parts per million and, and water and uh, I do have an air stone in there running um, a lot of people will run their air stones 24 7 and they'll, they'll run their lights 18 hours or 12 hours uh, that's a heavy expense right there when it comes to electricity you do not have to run your uh, air pumps 24 hours if you leave the nutrient solution a little bit below full okay and you leave some of the roots exposed to oxygen it's gonna get some oxygen so what I do is I run these things at 12 hours they've got when the lights kick on the pumps kick on when the lights kick off the pumps kick off and they're at 20 or ugh, they're at 12 hours right now they're at 12 hours so um, they only get 12 hours of light 12 hours of oxygen through the pump and then everything shuts off for 12 hours and this thing is is going to produce a lot of cucumbers before it's done I'm, I'm literally I, this is going to be the first picking so really exciting requires absolutely zero pollination I will show you where I got my seeds from um, and let's see that's about it this plant right here um, was grown in full right in front of the uh, grow light and I had mentioned that the grow light it's so very important right uh, for cucumbers and tomatoes and things that flower to get full light uh, they need at least at least in a grow room I'm thinking at least 12 hours a day outside in the sun uh, they probably need at least six to eight direct um, to grow a good crop this particular plant same exact species you've got yourself a cucumber uh, uh, Socrates cucumber and what happened was is when I set these two plants together I set this plant behind this plant and this plant really suffered right I tucked this one in the corner and this one was close to the light and this is same nutrient same everything and look how scraggly this one turned out to be you'll notice something else too no ripe fruit on it none not one in fact as it grows up it's just dropping fruit like crazy um, it's shriveling up and going down so not real excited about this uh, in fact I'm going to tear it down today because I don't think it's going to produce anything and so lesson learned these cucumbers need full full light they can't take uh, secondary light behind a plant um, it's not going to get to them it's not going to produce fruit so that is very important that it gets plenty 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 of light so I'll probably do another video on this uh, when it gets towards the end uh, so I can get a total count of cucumbers collected from one vine um, and so I'm calling this one a, a success right now um, I'm really really pleased with it so I will stop rambling I will uh, again show you the nutrients and the seeds Sorry about that sketchy camera work there, man. Hey, 
I'm no pro at this. I'm just showing you my vegetables that I'm growing in the basement. So, uh, like I say, I probably got a couple of pounds of cucumbers on that plant ready to go. I wanted to show you the seed. Now, um, parthenocopic seeds are not easy to find. Um, they're uh, they're not GMO. They've been mutated uh, over time, um, and they pretty much do not produce any male flowers, right? And so you can't find these things uh, pretty good just at your local nursery, or at least I haven't been able to find them. And so I had to order out for them. And these are your typical, I guess what you would call greenhouse cucumbers. Um, and like I say, they're Socrates F1, and I got them from Osborne Seed Company. And it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not in that lighting. Um, they're not cheap. Uh, for about 25 seeds, I paid, I think, uh, I think it was eight bucks plus shipping. Okay, so what did I use for nutrients? Uh, just a quick recap on it. I've already mentioned it before, but let's give you a full uh, nutrient uh, showcase here of what I used. Started out with the first four weeks on a Pure Blend, the Catanic Hair Grow uh, Pro. I ran this at uh, 800 parts per million. Uh, so uh, measuring it out uh, down to the milliliter is a little sketchy. I, I measure it with a parts per million pen um, that you can get at a hydroponic store. So this right here, 800 parts per million, four weeks. Then I kicked over to the Bloom, and it's been uh, growing on DynaGrow Bloom ever since then. Love this stuff. Really super concentrated. You get a lot of bang for your buck out of it. Um, from when I kicked over from Grow to Bloom, uh, I've been running at 1,000 parts per million. I change my nutrient solution out every two weeks, and I reload it with uh, pH balanced Bloom solution, 1,000 parts per million. Uh, in between nutrient changes in the deep water culture, I do top it off with a uh, with a weakened solution. Um, so I always keep my water levels up in it. Uh, next thing is with every nutrient change, I put in some Calmac. For this, I do measure four milliliters per nutrient change uh, goes into uh, every two weeks and this prevents the blossom and rot. So this is, this is really important uh, to, to add a Calmac to your fruit and vegetables. Um, so that was the rundown on the nutrients, the lights, the plant. Uh, it's producing, it's gonna produce a lot more. Thanks for stopping in. I'll do another video on this when it's ready to tear it down. Thanks for stopping in. Boom.